If you've ever used Zwift Power, you've probably seen numbers like these. But what are they? Before, result, gain, race ranking and points. And how do they get derived? Well here, we have a look. When you first join Zwift Power, you will be assigned a rank of 600. And this is the highest ranking number you'll ever have. But it's also the worst. Lower is better. Currently the best rank rider in Zwift has a rating of 42. What happens in Zwift Power when you enter a race with other people with a myriad of other ratings? Let's look at a real life example of a race that I won. So the first thing to note is that the result column is based on your ratings before the race and the position that you came in the race. Unsurprisingly, Swift Power does have a formula for working all this out, and it is this. The result is equal to something called race quality plus the number of positions behind the winner you are times by points per place. We're going to have a look at each part of that, but first of all, let's just see what that means when we chart that. The blue points are the race ratings before the race, and the orange points are the race ratings for the race. As we might expect, those with lower race ratings tend to do better in the race, having lower race position, and as we should expect from the formula, there's a straight line from the first position up linearly to the last position, going up in the same increments. Let's have a look at what this race quality means, the first term in the formula. So Swift Power determines race quality as being the average of the best five ranked riders in the top 10 finishing positions times by 0.9. So if we list the rankings of the riders from one to 12, we can ignore 11 and 12 because it's just of the top 10 finishing riders. And then we can look at just the best five ranked of these. If we sort them in order, we could ignore those lower than the sixth position in terms of ranking. And if we add those five up to give us 986, then divide by five to give 197. And finally, times by 0 0.9, which gives us our race quality of 177. The mathematically inclined amongst you may have already realized that for the winner of the race, the result is actually equal to the race quality. And that's always the case because the positions behind the winner is equal to zero. So it doesn't matter what the points per place is, the result will be equal to the race quality plus zero times something, which will always be zero. And we can actually check this with my result. And there we go, we see it as 177. The final piece in the puzzle is working out this points per place, which is how many points second place will be behind first place. And is essentially the gradient of this chart. Points per place is worked out with this formula. It's the average ranking of all finishers minus the race quality times by two divided by the number of finishers minus one. So let's have a look at this. So the average ranking of all finishers, that's the purple line, that's the red and the blue average of those. The race quality, we already know, and the difference between the two shown by this green arrow and then if we times that by two that gives us 378 and the top half of our sum and then if we divide all that by 11 then we get our points per place of 34.4 and we can check that against our race results and indeed it adds up each position is 34.4 points higher than the previous and that's how we calculate race ratings for any race and finally going back to the start race ranking here shown as 116 is merely the average of your best five race ratings in the last 90 days and the gain shows the effect that any particular race has had on the average 
is quite a nice example with my profile whereby my most recent race has affected my average but it's not yet showing in my race ranking as they update overnight so it's currently showing as 111.76 which is the average of 99 102 119 119 and 119 but if I hit the refresh profile it should update and show the change and there we go it shows the race ranking change to 111.25 which corresponds to the gain of 0.51 and that's all I have to say about race rankings if you like this please consider subscribing liking this video and hitting the bell button. Thank you very much.